Hey there guys, welcome back to SnowRunner. I'm MJ Haggis and we're back in a Kiki more. I've turned it around because we're going to go and get these uh, small pipes that have appeared in this map. I didn't notice they popped up just when I was going through the contract at the end of the last episode. They are all along this shoreline or that's in it. I'll show you the map. So there's one, two, that's a concern, it's out in the middle of the sea, and three. So I'm hoping that this bit here, there's land, or we're going fishing. I am. Question is, do we start with the furthest away and work our way back? That might be sensible. Okay, we'll do that. So let's go this way, just the usual. When we get round to there, we'll worry about picking up that. Right. Off we go. And I can cut through here. Is it this? Am I too early? No, this is good. When I was loading up the game just a few minutes ago, it was taking forever for the mods to show as, uh, as available. And then I saw in the Twitter feed from from SnowRunner about there being an update. And I thought, oh no, this could be an update. I just, it'll take forever for me to uh, download, probably. I need to get rid of that waypoint since I've bypassed it. There we go. And I've bypassed that one too, sorry. Yeah, and I thought, oh, I'm not going to be able to use the mods for this recording, which is a bit of a pain considering we'd already set up this Kiki mod to go, and then after a wee while, suddenly they all became available, much to my relief. And left, left, left. Up across this water again. Right. It's surprisingly deep when you first go into it. Okay, we're good. I think we'll just cut through here. Try my best not to hit any trees. Oh no, it's going to happen. Okay, I demolished that tree. I did think it was going to stop me in my tracks and cause a bit of damage, but it didn't, so that's good, obviously. Thinking, do we need to steal some? Well, I say steal. Take some fuel from that out fuel trailer on the way back. So I'm not sure how we're going to do for fuel. We could use you use the roof rack, I suppose. Oh, they're nicely placed for us. So that's nice. That is nice. Just need to not tip over. Ah, okay. So that second one is on an island. Oh no, their double slot small pipes are not that small. I totally forgot, I was thinking of medium pipes. Okay, if that's how it is. I should have maybe put the anchors out for that. No, we're fine. It's not going to tip me over. question is, yeah, I want them at the front, so if I can double stack them. Then, yeah, that's what I want. Then I can put one across the way, which is not ideal, and I can maybe get the, the third one right on top of this. It's a bit pushing it, but 
Sometimes that's what you got to do. Now the question is, how do I get to that other one over there? I think I would have gone along the shoreline if I thought I could get away with it. I think I'm meant to probably come in from this road here. It's a bit of a long way for a shortcut. Hmm. Ah. Come on, in for a penny, in for a pound. Let's go to the shoreline, see if we can get across. Bound to tip over though at some point. Just take it nice and steady. We might actually do this. I do like that water texture with the sun on it. It does look very realistic. We'll round this rock and then we'll attempt to get across. No, 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 no. Oh. No, you don't. How did those pipes end up away over there? Yeah, I think I need to probably turn around and we'll reverse up to them. Look at that disappear there, that's a bit soft. Right, maybe we'll reach it there, but I will put the anchors out this time. Right, come on then, in you come. <laughs> Round you go, that's it. I don't know, is it sitting? Oh, it's still sitting up on them. Here we go. Beautiful. It's not ideal. I'll grant you that. Especially once we get the other ones on top, it's going to be... A little bit asking for trouble. Right, recover the anchors. I think we'll be alright initially. Ooh. Get rid of that UI. Clearly did not intend for us to be double stacking and carrying three lots of small pipes. I'm going that way. Seems to be a surprisingly busy little route, this. Going by all those tracks in the mud. Right, now let's reassess. Where's the third ones? Okay, I'm going to have to assume coming around this way somehow. And does it look like we come along the shoreline there? There's not many clues as to the proper access through. Maybe through the trees and down? I mean, that there does look like a little access point. I really hope my pipes don't get knocked off now. Right, trees do not touch the pipes. 
Oh, this is perfect. It's like a little trap. All we've got to do now is try and cut along the shoreline again. Slow and steady. You've heard me say it numerous times, and sometimes that is the correct philosophy. Gotta watch these pipes don't fall off to the right, though. So there's a windmill. Very nice. Right, down onto the beach. There's a handy few trees along here. That's probably what we're going to need. Don't tip over. Just got to watch out for those pesky boulders. Not far to go. This is looking promising. Or am I just jinxed it there? Looking for a way back out already. Ooh, I'm about to drive over them. Okay, let's have a wee look. Yeah, I think we'll maybe try and come back out. If not, I have no problems going back to the, the way we came in there. Okay, right. Anchors out. Crane. I might slightly realign those. The ones at the back. And you go. Okay, stop swinging, please. Just a little bit further. Right. Oh no, a little bit further than that. It's funny how you think it looks lined up until you get behind it and you go, that's nah, miles off. Okay. Drop that there, drop the crane down on top. Let's line it up so it is right square on it. And I only just want it to catch it because we don't want it bouncing them off. Right, lifting the front of the pipes up, which will make it even more unsteady. Right, okay. Anyway, through those trees as it stands, I don't think so. Okay, back it up down the hill there. Can we go out that way? I'm inclined to think I'm going to not get through those trees and then we've got some more trees. I can just see these two here and some rocks to their left. But it does, does look like a clear run right the way through where you can see the mouses. We'll have a look. Okay, let's put the winch onto a suitable tree. No, 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 don't tip over. That's why you preemptively use the winch. Don't touch the tree. Oh, 
And this is this is looking good. Fish. Stop, 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 stop. Good job, Kiki Moore. This vehicle has been exceptional. Those pipes are looking dodgy though at the top. And I didn't even destroy his fence. A couple of tire tracks, but that's okay. May have to realign those pipes at some point, but let's get on the move. And another contract could be getting done. And I'm going to... Nah. No, I'm not going to fill up. I'm going to top up when we get into the red from our reserves. Because hopefully, I can't remember, I'm hoping that we're going somewhere close to the um, fuel station in the broken factory grounds. Right, we've seen that before. Oh, that looks dodgy. And the, the crane has reset itself. So let's let's fix that to start with. And while we've got the crane out, let's just realign them then. No, realign. Come on. There it goes. I might push them a little bit further forwards, actually. It might be better. It might not. And I'll put the crane down over them now. It might be more supportive. Right, it's got a grip of them. Let's see how we go on now. Get rid of the UI. And how far are we going with these? Oh, it's three different locations. Of course it is. Right, okay. From here, we'll go to this one first. Can't get across there, so we'll double back on ourselves. And across the bridge, which is fine. That works out quite well. And then back. And it's handy because we're close to the garage, so maybe I'll just nip back to the garage to finish up. Okay, let's go. 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 Don't hit. Got to be so careful those pipes don't catch a telegraph pole, a railroad barrier. Because if it does catch it, I'll probably pull it back and it'll spin round and I'll knock off the ones at the front as well, just to add salt to the wound. Checking that barrier was still back there and wasn't stuck underneath. Now before we go too much further, I know I should have done this much earlier and I do apologise, but I've got three new subscribers. How awesome is that? Scott Leverett, Paul Burgett, Burgett and Casper Tost. Casper, my pronunciations, I'm Scottish, forgive me. If they're that bad, please let me know in the comments and I'll try and correct it. But uh, the three of you, thank you so much for subscribing. It, it just means so much for everybody who is willing to subscribe to my little channel. It boosts my day no end. 
So I hope you're enjoying the content. Uh, if it's the SnowRunner, if it's the PTS that hooked you in, maybe it was even the um, the other wee channel I did with the flight, the um, air traffic control. Like, I don't know. But the bottom line is, thank you so much. Okay, we're going to lose this packed one, so that's fine. They'll hopefully drop down and I can repack them. It's looking promising. Oh no, I can't. Okay. Reject that. We will pick up these ones at the back and get them off. Hopefully just put them up in the air will let me repack it now. Yes. And back down again. Might put them how I had the other ones because it does kind of grip them quite nicely. And then I don't need to worry about them hooking on a tree or a telegraph pole. Hopefully the crane on that alone will hold them. Yeah, maybe. I thought they might drop down a little bit further at the back, but soon find out. Okay, get rid of the UI again. Reverse back. Seventy six litres of fuel, we'll be fine. And off we got seventy one, so we're into the red. this bridge now I don't even think I'll bother worrying about going to the fuel station that's here because we've got enough to use that's on the roof rack and because we're going back to the garage I have no problems with that pipe delivery come get them no okay I'll drop them here then Oh, where's my mouse going? There it is. Thank you. And back them. I can restore the crane now. And let's go. Zoom, zoom, zoom. Another good contract is drawing to a close. Three point up we go. How do we get around to them this way? Yeah, I think it is. Delivery again. Love a pumpkin. Oh, not that one. Oh, wrong button, that one. Yeah! And we get the big tick for it. Is that the end of the ones for? We'll find out in a sec when I check. But it says, broken pipes, the water supply is restored. Great job. You've managed nicely. 
So here's what you're owed. Meanwhile, someone should consider installing a few beacons here for safety. Okay. 8,600 cash. Not bad. 870 XP. Quickly put the engine off. So the contracts... Yeah, so that's all of Rostov administration complete. So if you go to the global map, we have one of three big ticks. Excellent. Excellent, excellent. So we'll move on to something else. I'll figure it out to the next one task or contract we can find. I'm going to get this. In fact, what time is it? We've got time. I'm going to get back to the garage. We'll back it up. Ground we go, rear wheel steering helping so much. Been a wee while since we've been back in the garage. Sun is setting again. We're not far from a 30 minute recording. And there we go. 22 litres of fuel left. Not a problem. Engine off. Okay, guys, I hope you enjoyed that little contract. That was fairly simple. Turned out anyway. Uh, I could have easily rolled it. Probably into the sea, no, my luck. Anyway, all good. Thank you so much for watching. Again, thank you to the three new subscribers. I appreciate it. No end. I can't emphasize that enough. Hey, and you'll see me again soon. Bye for now.